Hello parents and welcome to this presentation on 21st century learning. Uh, today we're going to talk about the flipped classroom. It's a, it's a new way of teaching that introduces technology and it's a way for students to learn the material at home and prepare for class. And then they come to class with questions and they have more time in class to actually apply what they've learned. So as you can see in the image, the students at home are uh, studying from the lecture notes and uh, listening to the teacher's presentation. And then when they're in class, the students are applying what, they're, what they learned from the recording. And then afterwards, the teacher's allowed to use technology again to make sure that they're understanding the concepts. Since you guys are watching this presentation in preparation for conferences, you're participating in a flipped classroom style activity right now. If you have any questions, please write them down and bring them in the coming weeks. Uh, uh, some ways to describe 21st century learning are think of it not as what to learn, but how to learn. So we're going to show students how they can use the resources around them to gain and gather more information. And another quote that I like that I found online is rather than a classroom system, we could have a community system. So students could pursue their personal interest and find ways to gain information from reliable sources. And it also allows the teachers to focus more on individual learning. In 21st, uh, 21st century technology, there are four C's, which are collaboration, communication, critical thinking, and creativity. Uh, for collaboration, students will be using technology to work together to reach a goal. For communication, they'll be sharing their thoughts, questions, ideas, and solutions on a lot of different platforms. And as you can see in this image, it's joking about how there's so many different ways to communicate. We need to educate our students on which ones are the best ones to use. Uh, another one of the C's is critical thinking, which is looking at a problem in a new way. And last but not least is creativity and trying new approaches to solve problems.